You, what is up everybody, and welcome back to another Madden 20 Ultimate Team Game. Today, we have Patrick Willis back in Madden Ultimate Team for the first time, I believe, since his retirement from the NFL. Check out this limited edition Willis with 86 speed, 90 hit power, all sorts of crazy physical attributes across the board. This Willis is going to be a lot of fun to play with. And you have to know we're going to add superstar abilities and an X-Factor ability to Patrick Willis as well. We have Enforcer on him, even though he already has high hit power, he's gonna get even better hit stick animations with this Enforcer Superstar ability. If you guys remember when we played with the Falcons with Keanu Neal and some of the crazy hits we were getting with Neal, we're gonna get those with Patrick Willis. Along with that, we put Homer on him so he can get in the zone faster when we're at home, like we did with Bo Jackson. And we have Unfakeable so he doesn't get juked out, so... We'll see how that goes, and we'll see if Patrick Willis can even step on the field, or if Tory Holt can take the opening kick return all the way. The kicker ends up saving the day, believe it or not. The X-Factor ability I put on Patrick Willis is a run stuffer. And check out the requirements for run stuffer. I've never had a player with run stuffer all year long. It's not an ability in um, regs, it's only an ability in Ultimate Team right now. And um, this ability looks very hard to activate. You need to get five tackles for loss with Patrick Willis. Not just tackles, not just tackles for loss with your whole team, just single-handedly with Patrick Willis. I don't think I've ever played a Madden game in my life where I got five tackles for loss on a running play with a single player. So I'm not sure this X-Factor is going to be working out for us as we get the sack with, or my opponent actually gets the sack with Reggie White. That was us on offense. That's us punting the ball to Tory Holt. We'll bring Patrick Willis back on the field and see what we can do. Uh, spoiler alert! This run stuffing X Factor ability is not going to be activated today. I mean, you guys can see the title of the video. You know, run stuffer is not the X Factor we're working on today, but it's the first one I tried out. So I want to show you guys exactly how it went as we get the big hit with Willis there. That's part of that enforcer right there, making sure we get the big hit. Anthony Barr's got no abilities. Definitely not the ability to stop Jerry Rice from making that spectacular catch. Here is Tory Holt in the flats. My opponent starting the second quarter on a fantastic drive, and the drive will end. After this Marcus Allen spin and touchdown run. As you see, third down and six. He's stacking the box. We're going to get the quick pass off to Clinton Borders. And it looks like Stefan Gilmore has Enforcer because what a hit that was. And a big hit like anybody can big hit. Kurt Warner can big hit, man. Stefan Gilmore can big hit. Kickers can big hit. Here's Patrick Willis stuff in the middle once again. Even though it's a fundamental tackle in the running game, it does absolutely nothing for our X Factor as Jalen Ramsey gets the interception. My opponent, even though he's up 10 0, still manages to put his hands in the cookie jar as we run the sweep of Odell Beckham Jr. This game was kind of a lost cause for a couple of reasons. One, my opponent I'm playing against, like, this dude's pretty good, man. He has the 95 full month master. Pat Tillman, so that was a little bit intimidating. I'm not gonna lie, loading into this game. And along with that, we kind of struggled with ball security in this game, especially my guy Clinton Port. Or actually, yeah, Clinton Port is Odell. Like, I just got this Clinton Port and he fumbled the ball. Here's Odell losing the ball. Would have not been a first down, but it would have given us a decent fourth down to go for. Instead, here we are watching Marcus Allen off to the races once again. My opponent tries to get a bit too cute right there. This guy was actually a subscriber. He had sent me a message after the game. He invited me to an Xbox party after the game too. I don't know, Mike, but he told me GG, so... You know, it was all good there as we get the forced incompletion with Patrick Willis. But since we have one stuffer as an X-Factor ability, all this passing this guy is doing up 10-0 is not helping us for run stuffer, all right? It's hard to uh, activate and it's definitely hard to activate when your opponent is, you know, not running the ball. So uh, a lot of things working against us with run stuffer. This is going to be the first and the last time you see me attempt to get a player a run stuffer X-Factor ability because it's just... Unless they lower the limit to, like, three. And even then, that's still pretty tough. But that's at least, like... I think I could do that in a game if I dedicate a game to just shooting gaps with Patrick Willis. Right now, we're at two out of five. So, if it was at three, we would be one away. So, that's not out of the ordinary to think that you could get three for one stuffer. But five is just, like... I don't know who at EA thought that was a good idea. That's just, like, crazy to think about. I want to see some... I want to see the last game where a player got five tackles for losses in an actual NFL game. But anyways, that will do it for... This game, we end up quitting. That, I mean, we had no chance. We fumbled three times in that game, too. Like, I don't know if we would have won heads up, but the amount of fumbles we had in that game was crazy. So, we switched Patrick Willis' X-Factor ability to Zone Hawk. 
mercifully because the run stuffer was not happening. Zone Hawk, we need to force three incompletions with Patrick Willis to get him in the zone. Or we could just get an interception with Willis and that automatically gets him his X Factor ability. Zone Hawk is a pretty cool one. It helps you play better zone coverage and it helps you get better catch knockouts, which, you know, if you knock a guy, you know, better chance he drops the ball like there. If we have Patrick Willis, like that dude would have been like crying for the medic all right third down and nine we use your patrick willis and it's gonna work to perfection we get my opponent to put his hands in the cookie jar and patrick willis with the pick six and patrick willis's x factor ability of zone hawk is now activated just 30 seconds in the game as Willis scores the first points of the game in the process. My opponent looked like he wants to run this ball, which is not really going to help us with the X Factor. There's nothing to do with the X Factor. When my opponent runs it and gets the first down with Zeke. Oh, I tried to absolutely lay him out with Willis and missed. I'm sick about that one, though. It does look like he's trying to pass. So let's watch Willis middle of the field doing all he can. But we're getting absolutely no pass rush. Finally, here comes Lawrence Taylor and... Willis and myself did a good enough job of covering right there that even though he had a lot of time, he could not get anything open. Second down and 15. He's going at Jalen Ramsey. And Ramsey drops the interception. Oh, come on, Jalen. Then I think it was Ken Houston who dropped it too. Third down and 15. Prescott once again with time, but just nothing open before he takes a coverage sack. That time it's Strahan that's going to bring him down. Fourth down and 27. Willis still in the zone. And my opponent's going for it. And he's trying to hit the quick pass there to, I believe that's Blake Jarwin. This guy looks like a Cowboys fan. He has a lot of random Dallas Cowboys on his team. That's um, definitely not the move right now for him as he's got Lawrence trying to chase Odell who goes over the defensive back but unfortunately cannot take it to the crib. I wanted the crib that one so bad. It's going to have to be a touchdown. The next play for Odell. Just got to settle for one on a uh, counter RPO. That is the unofficial name of that play I believe. So we're at 14-0 now. Offense looking good. Defense is definitely looking great because Patrick Willis is still in the zone. He's still got the zone hawk X Factor ability as Zeke one more time running that ball. And this is how we're losing all the yards for the X Factor. The X Factor counter for Zone Hawk counts against passing plays and running plays. So it's 30 yards. So it's pretty lenient right there. But the rushing yards, we're kind of bleeding them right now. As that is going to be an incomplete pass. He nearly threw his he still has not thrown a completion yet. Poor guy, bless his soul. Third down and five. We've had two dropped interceptions too. Finally, the first completion of the game and a first down to yet in uh, is this dude, dude running a Cowboys theme team? He's got Randall Cobb out here too. As that press Scott just he's checks him down like almost every single play. And Jalen Ramsey finally gets a turnover force it's gonna be on a force fumble and Harrison Smith back to the crib with that one my opponent looks like is not gonna tap out just yet even though the result of this game is still you know or it's pretty much a formality at this point it's not even up in the air he's still sticking it out at least for the quarter which is fine by me because we still have Willis in the zone so now I'm just gonna hard flat every single play if he wants to run that drag just to make sure we don't bleed out the final couple of yards for Patrick Willis's X Factor I want to see Zonehawk really work itself out and speaking of there's Willis forcing the interception yes that's gonna be an interception and that is what zone hawk brings to the table and oh dell's gonna cough the ball up right back in that's gonna be byron jones on the recovery i'm just kind of goofing around that point oh by the way patrick will is still in the zone as we get the big hit on ezekiel elliott so with that zone hawk patrick will has just had more of a chance of just destroying that man as he caught the ball in the middle of the field as we're gonna get the interception once again just letting patrick willis cover his area gives me more free reign to know that you know patrick willis is gonna give up a play within that yellow zone i could go over the top and get the pick on the post route juke around with odell beckham jr and take that bubble screen back to the crib it's 28-0 and patrick willis is still in the zone he's still got the zone hog x factor going and it has helped us dominate this game 27 out of 30 we're close but we're not like this poor guy he has to be wondering what it takes to get patrick willis out of the zone as he had the slant right there i'm figuring he's gonna go back to it so I'm going to take him myself. I probably should have used Patrick Willis if I knew that he was going to try to throw that slayer out. But nonetheless, we get the interception with Earl Thomas. That actually would have put ET3 in the zone. Well, yeah, Earl Thomas is technically in the zone, but you won't be able to see that because my opponent ended up quitting. We also have Zone Hawk on Earl Thomas, but that's something that 
I have on my team normally. So, you know, we got two Zone Hog players. They were both going to be active instead. A Mercy quit right there. And we're going to move on to one more game in this video. So, all we got to do is not lose like 23 0 like we did to the Jalen Ramsey guy. I'm going to try to see what I can do with Patrick Willis. I didn't want to end the video there because that was what, like a quarter and a half? We got to try at least one more game. And. Patrick Willis could do nothing about this one. I don't know what I did on defense, to be completely honest. I think I pressed the corner, and he was just completely out of position as soon as the play hiked. So, yeah, Torrey Holt got one of the easier touchdowns he's ever seen in his life. Just no matter what form of football, high school, peewee, he's probably never seen a touchdown easier than that one, as we will start off down 7-0 thanks to that blunder. And unfortunately, not much to see from Patrick Willis. Instead, it's going to be Kurt Warner, Clinton Portis, and the offense. I got this Clinton Portis from the house rules. From this week, you get the Nat um, Team Diamond player. I got the Quentin Portis. So I had Marcus Allen before, if you guys remember. I ended up selling Marcus Allen and just keeping Quentin Portis since he's the Nat player. Why not? He's pretty decent. He's about the same as Marcus Allen. So I might as well keep the guy that's Nat, right? As you see Portis fighting off the tackle attempt. And yeah, you see Quentin Portis is not that bad. And we're just going to get absolutely bailed out here and get the first down. That's such a bad animation. Like, it works in our favor, but that's so bad. You know what's also a bad animation? This. Like, Quentin Port is trying to go underneath Lawrence Taylor in the middle of that pass rush sequence there. As I try to throw a screen pass, that, you know, didn't quite work the way I thought it would. Second down and 10! And we try to get the quick pass off, but I didn't expect them to bite out there with Shazer. I wasn't really paying attention as much as I should have. Third down and 10. We're looking for Ertz. No, no, no. We're going downfield because Torrey Holt's got a step and he's got a touchdown. As he goes downfield to Torrey Holt, we do the same. Let's start a new ball game, all right? Let's just reset everything that happened in the first minute 30 pretty much of this game minute 38 let's just have a brand new game and we have Tory Holt open downfield again but we play it to perfection with Ken Houston get my opponent to put his hands in the cookie jar and Ken Houston is lagging and still gonna go all the way for the touchdown I thought I was gonna get screwed out of a really nice pick six because I got some lag right as I was about to try to take the right angle to the end zone instead I just ran like awkwardly ran into Steve Young and broke the tackle so Madden was like you deserve the touchdown you can have it thank you very much John as my opponent trying to run the ball here it looks like Bo Jackson the running back it looks like Bo Jackson going nowhere it's second down and that is David Carr at quarterback David Carr you don't see that one too often the theme the theme diamond David Carr so yeah interesting there as that's gonna be a perfect pass over a not so aware Harrison Smith that was nearly intercepted by Patrick Willis I thought I had that one but the way middle linebackers are usering in this game you just cannot jump at all not even with a Patrick Willis apparently so we'll just have to force the turnover on the big hit Patrick Willis check out the replay I missed the big hit and still get the animation that's Speaking of not so great animation, it seems like that seems to be the theme of the day, but we will definitely take that one. That's Enforcer on Patrick Willis and just pure hit power. But with that Enforcer ability, getting guaranteed hit stick animations like that with a guy with 90 hit power like Patrick Willis, it's it's crazy, man. Enforcer is one of my favorite superstar abilities on the defensive end. Like everybody loves their edge threat. I like zone, was it zoned out, I think, but that ability that Patrick Willis has enforcer there is crazy good as you see Odell Beckham Jr. Crab and go is definitely one I like as well and you can see how much I love it by how much Odell is featured in our offense like you guys saw the Bo Jackson play but this is how we normally play man with Odell Beckham Jr. doing his thing and apparently we have the worst special teams unit in the league like every single time you see our special teams we're giving up like a 50 yard return I don't know how it's really not that easy to return the ball in Madden 20 unless you're playing against me because I, I just don't know what I'm doing. I'm going to be able to return kickoffs. I must be taking bad angles or something. Anyway, second down and 16. This guy is trying to slow the game down. Down 14 points, which is not a bad idea. Like, why not try to run? Like, the passing game clearly hasn't worked too well. Run the ball. Three rushes for 25 yards. It's still early in the game. Like, might as well give it a couple more goes. Third down three, though. This is more of a passing down. And David Carr is going to roll out the pocket and find Zach Ertz for the first down. What a play from David. Okay, I see you. First down and goal at the five is going to be first down and goal at the two and a half because I accidentally jumped off sides with JJ Y. And Christian McCaffrey is going to cash in on this play. I try to go on for the big hit right there. I don't think I went for a normal tackle. It would have worked as he kind of pins Tyreek Hill there. I might have been able to let that one go out of bounds, but 
not worth risking that it doesn't go out of bounds so we get the ball to the 23 yard line not a big deal right there so Patrick Wills early on in this game already has you know a forced fumble but that's not gonna do anything for his x factor so the x factor counter is at zero out of two since we are playing at home and I put the homer superstar ability on him we only need two forced incompletions and of course if we can get an interception that automatically puts Patrick Wills in the zone and we're gonna bring Patrick Wills on the field to try to help us protect this lead since we have not really done much on that drive so fourth down 11, we're just going to punt the ball and, you know, let Patrick Willis do his thing. This is about Patrick Willis, so no need to go for it there. Just get the defense on the field as much as possible. Weird as that sounds. Though my opponent really wants to run this rock with Bo Jackson now. we got to start shooting these gaps with Patrick Willis. We haven't been playing the best run defense out here, so we got to try to tighten that up a little bit. Second down and nine. Look at Willis covering so much ground and missing the hit stick once again as he swerves inside. It does swerve him into Anthony Barr, but man, oh man, he is fortunate to avoid Patrick Willis, but this time he can't avoid Willis who gets the interception he puts his hands in the cookie jar and Patrick Willis with that INT will get zone hawk activated once again as we go downfield for Beckham but that has just a bit off the mark that was a perfect throw right there I mean a perfect idea I, I believe but Warner just a sell that would have been too far. I guess he got a bit nervous thinking the safety was there as we go middle to Zach Ertz. Ertz on that post route, man, against, especially against tight ends. He just absolutely torches them. That's why I got this Ertz. He's not that fast, but he definitely gets the job done. That check down, I definitely had Ertz in the middle there, but man, I don't know why I just skipped that entire play. That was kind of weird. Third down and six. We're down all of our timeouts, so we're just going to lob it to the end zone to Clinton Fortis, but unfortunately, that's not going to work for us. He doesn't get both feet in bounds. I went for the rack catch right there because I felt like if I went possession catch that I would have not gotten it, so I felt like I could get like one of those rack ag animations didn't, you know, work out for us, which is fine. I'll take the field goal, but unfortunately, we're going to give up seven on the final play of the first half because the worst special teams unit you will ever see in your life has just bled seven points away for absolutely no reason Our, come on guys oh man it feels like we were always on the verge of pulling away with this game then my opponent just pulls a rabbit out of the hat to get back into it as we run the bubble screen to odell but peanut tillman was sitting there the entire time i'm surprised peanut didn't try to jump that for the interception as we go jet sweep to odell and odell getting the first down try away from my blocks but i wanted to get the first down at least which is what we did so that works out for us pretty decently as it looked like we had Tory holt down field if i lobbed that ball so do we get zacherts that'll be a good game to the 24 yard line i want to get this drive over with though I don't know if you guys remember, Patrick Willis is in the zone. It's been a while since we've been on defense, but Patrick Willis has zone hawk activated, so I just need to get this drive over with, but we've been on offense for like the longest time. We had the, the drive right for the end of the first half, and now we have the drive to start the second half. That's third down and nine, clean pocket. Kurt Warner eventually going to find Odell. What was that, Cheryl McCoy to try to cover him? That wasn't really a great idea. My opponent probably got stuck on the D-line. What a juke from Clinton Portis, and he's able to fall forward for the first down. Now at the goal line, looking to just fullback dive it in with Jim Brown. That technically got us a yard, but not fully as we go to Odell. One more time on the jet sweep. You guys can really tell um like i love running the jet sweeps and odell with the grab and go it's just the perfect combination of what i like to do on offense and what odell brings to the table as far as you know superstar abilities and all that so we're just using our abilities not really like the most common ability you'll see but we use it to the best of our abilities as here we have patrick willis with zone hawk and that running game is going nowhere it's still not bad here to run the ball in this situation it's just unfortunately for him has been stuffed twice third down and 12 can wills get a stop in the passing game oh we're gonna get a stop he puts his hands in the cookie jar again this time it's ken houston with the interception as we do too dirty of a spin move right there i tried to i didn't want to spin sideways like that either way here's odell for you know about the 50th point in a row on the jet sweep and with that we have odell in the zone technically we have max security on odell we just have to get six consecutive targets to odell just like zach Ertz in regs and now odell has max security and we go for a possession catch we're in pretty good shape to catch it as we do next play it's actually going to be at the start of the fourth quarter because we have time to get that playoff i tried to get the playoff i run the, i want to run the jet sweep to odell didn't quite work i try to run an rpo stick route to odell and i hit the a button thinking odell was a he was actually rb a was to hand the ball off so um, that's why I ran the wrong way right there. I did not mean to do that on purpose. Once I had the ball with Clint Porter, I panicked and just spun as third down and goal. You know we're looking for Odell, and so does he. Unfortunately, 
He held the Y button a bit too long trying to catch that ball. Fourth down and goal. We're going for it. We don't need the field goal. We'll just get the touchdown to Zach Ertz. Why not? Zach Ertz really showing out in this game. It's really just been all about Zach Ertz and Odell. A little bit of Clinton Portis as well. And I mean, that's kind of the way I run offense when I do play mutt games. Just, you know, Zach Ertz in the middle of the field. Odell just being the gadget player and then the other guys like Tory Holt and Michael Thomas and even Tyreek they don't really seal the ball too much to be honest second down and 13 with 248 remaining he's still trying to stick in this one he's going to get the big game to Zach Ertz and unfortunately that is going to knock Patrick Willis out of the zone I tried to set up Patrick Willis as much as I could but you know I kind of sold on the defense right there I should have been there with Ken Houston and instead he will be Marching downfield against a not in the zone. X Factor activated. Patrick Willis. But don't worry, Enforcer is there every single play. So, synopsis Patrick Willis is really good in this game. Patrick Willis is also really expensive. So, once I finish this, I'm going to be selling Patrick Willis. I'd love to have Willis. I'd love to have Bo Jackson on my team, but it, they're so expensive right now. It's crazy how much these uh, Madden Ultimate Team like 10 year anniversary cards are going for. But this, these cards are really good, though. Like, <laughs> they're a lot of fun to play with. Pro I promise you that as this is going to be an interesting kickoff here. That is barely a touchback. I was almost one of the best kickoffs you will ever see in your life. Instead, we get the ball at the 25-yard line. We're just going to run a pitch with Clinton Portis here. Not really going to jeopardize losing this game on this drive. Just, you know, we get some first downs. Cool. We can end the game. Otherwise, we'll bring Patrick Willis back on the field. I'd like to get the first down, though. So third down and four. We sweep the ball to Portis. Trying to cut that ball inside. Didn't quite work out for us. And... We're going to punt the ball. Thomas Morstead on the field. Patrick Willis will be on the field just now. And, you know, I, I don't really feel too bad about that decision there. Fourth down and six. I was thinking about going for it there, but... Because either way, if my opponent gets a touchdown, he pretty much needs an onside kick. And I just decided, you know what, let's just get Patrick Willis more field to work with here so we can get the stop. Look at Willis' ability to cover one of the top receivers in the game downfield as we get the big hit on Torrey Holt. He's going to run hurry up with David Carr and the offense. He's got a man downfield. I'm glad he didn't see that one. I tried to run there at the last second with Willis. He's still going to get that weird animation with Bo Jackson. I don't know why my guy fell down as he throws the out route to Harrison and that will bring the ball to the 23 yard line. You might think about kicking the field goal here, but why? When you can just throw the touchdown to Zach Hurts. I was going to cover that myself, but Patrick Willis sneezed as soon as the play was high. I don't know, man. Patrick Willis just had the sniffles there. I really wasn't sure what happened. So after he went for the two point conversion and got it, it's only a two point game as he goes for the onside kick. So if he had gotten that, then he would have been in really good shape to win the game. Instead, um, this ball game is pretty much a wrap. We can need a ball out from here. I'm not going to need a ball out, though. I'm going to keep this thing a little bit entertained. This guy was also a subscriber, by the way, just like the first guy we played against. Or at least he said he followed me on Twitter. He got on his mic and said that. I was going to put that in the video. I forgot, but... um. He got his mic and said he followed me. So, shout out to uh, Diamond Man. Good game to him. Or uh, can he win the game on this final play? Oh, he's going to try. He's going to force the fumble on Clinton Portis. We almost uh, paid for our sins there, but we do end up winning this game. Patrick Willis with a great showing throughout all these games. Besides, you know, even the, even the first game we played, Willis was doing pretty good. We just kind of sold as a team on offense. But, uh, yeah, we have a the video. If you guys enjoyed this Patrick Willis gameplay, subscribe for more Madden 20 Ultimate Team, Regs, whatever you guys like. I got you. And I'll catch you guys next time. Thank you so much for watching.